It's time now for a look at latest in local news. In the news, it's Georgia Florida football weekend and annually for the past many years on the Wednesday before the football game, politicians gather in Patterson, Georgia at the Mossy Pond Lodge to talk politics. The annual event entitled Peanuts, Pines, and Politics started years ago by former state representative Chad Nimmer and now carried on by state representative Stephen Meeks. Another great crowd on hand for the traditional barbecue lunch. One of the guest speakers, Georgia Attorney General Chris Carr. Attorney General spent the day inside Georgia, began with a meeting Wednesday morning at the Jessup Train Depot with members of the community and local law enforcement. Next stop at Scriven City Hall for a meet and greet in Scriven with Scriven Mayor Jason Weaver, other community members, and then on to Patterson, Georgia for the annual Peanuts, Pines, and Politics event. WIFOVM on hand, a chance to talk with the Attorney General on a weekend with the election, which is just less than a week away. General Chris Carr in Wayne County today. Uh, first of all, I just want to talk about we're less than a week away from the election, and I know you want to encourage everybody to get out there and vote. Absolutely. Again, we've had record turnout as it relates to early voting. It's it's easy now to vote in Georgia. We have uh, we passed a bill a couple years ago called SB 202 that increased security, access, and transparency, and we're seeing numbers up all over the state. And I just encourage everybody to get out and vote. Met earlier today with the law enforcement, talked about how important they are, talked about human trafficking and what an issue that is in the state of Georgia. Also, gangs uh, as they account for the majority of the violent crime. So, talk about that. Yeah, but for, first of all, I mean, this is what government's supposed to do. It's supposed to keep people safe. And I'm really appreciative of Governor Kent and the legislature giving us the ability to now join with local and federal law enforcement, state law enforcement, to fight domestic terrorism, human trafficking, gangs, organized uh, retail crime, all issues that are important to the state. And when you start looking at the communities that are most often impacted, it's lower income, racially diverse, and immigrant populations. So I'm really proud in the state of Georgia. It doesn't matter where you live, your religion, where you're from. We're going to fight to keep people safe, and uh, it's, it's been great to be a part of it. One of the questions was about the district attorney. We're having an issue with the Brunswick Judicial Circuit where he's pulled out as far as doing juvenile cases. He you know, has all the DAs or assistant DAs in Clean County. So you mentioned you're aware of what's going on, but you say it's a local issue. But you do have that oversight committee. So talk about that and when does that kick in? Yeah, so the legislature passed an oversight committee that relates to prosecutors, whether it's the DA or, or solicitor, whatever it may be, targeting a start date of January the 1st. And that's really where I think folks now are going to have the ability, if they have concerns, they can go to that oversight board and let them look into it. What else do you want to tell the people for you? Well, look, I'm just, you know, I'm proud of the state of Georgia. We just do it differently in the state, whether it's about jobs, whether it's about public safety. We've got a great story. Uh, you know, elections are coming up. These are tough times. Obviously, there's fights on both sides. But what I am really proud of is the leadership that we have in this state. You should be proud of the, the leadership that you've got in this community. And uh, we work well together. And great to be back and look forward to coming back again soon. And you also got to speak today at Mossy Pond as guest speaker, big event for Stephen Meeks, uh, Peanut Spines Politics. Uh, how important is an event like that to have people come down and seaside Georgia for what it is? No, oh, it's great. I mean, we came down when it was Chad Demers and now Stephen, who's been a friend of mine for probably 20, 25 years since he worked with uh, Senator Chambliss. And, and those, this is an important political issue, uh, political event. Stephen does a great job getting folks to come together. The speaker, the governor's been here in the past and others. Uh, it's important. These relationships matter. And when you have folks come together, look each other in the eye, shake each other's hand, talk about what's important, you build those relationships, it's key. Every time you talk, you bring up Johnny Isaacson. You worked with Johnny for a long time. You talk about what a great influence he was. A lot of people you know, talk about the impact he left on the state of Georgia. Yeah, jo Johnny was just, he was you know in elected office for 30 years. He'd been a three-term U.S. senator. I mean, he, he just, he did it the right way. I always say he's the guy in, uh, that helped me, you know, better understand how to be a better elected official, better be you know, a businessman, and just a good human being. And I always said that he and Nathan Deal were the two most successful politicians that hated the politics of politics. They just wanted to talk to you about the issues of the day, and they were civil, and they were decent, and they cared, and they were genuine. Uh, and I just appreciated working for both of them. But Johnny was my first boss, and so I'm always real grateful that he helped me get into this business. Well, it's always good to see you. Appreciate it. You too. And Bob, go dogs. And again, that, those comments of Attorney General Chris Carter will bring you more of his comments from the discussion he had with local law enforcement at the train depot about human trafficking, other topics, again, all that next week here on the local news. Just two days left of early voting, and turnout continues to be strong here in Wayne County. Election day set for Tuesday, November the 5th. On Wednesday, another 410 registered voters cast their ballots. The grand total of early votes in Wayne County stands at 8,645 heading into today. Early voting today and Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Again, at the election building located at 
3306 East Pine Street in Jessup. Reminder, there's a contested race in District 5 of the County Commissioner's seat. That race between Wayne, that race between Randy Franks and Princess Dow. Again, Tuesday, polls will be open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Once again, early voting continues today from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And then Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. That will close out a three-week of early voting process here in Wayne County. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages. So please stay tuned. It's Halloween. A couple of events taking place today. The Halloween Parade hosted by the Altima Women's Club taking place in downtown Jessup this afternoon starting at 430. This is the club's 51st annual Halloween Parade. Vineup will take place behind Jessup Insurance Company. Everyone's invited to participate today. Several prizes will be handed out along with a lot of candy. Prizes for the scariest costume, cutest, most original. Once again, the date today, October 31st, 430 p.m. in downtown Jessup. Trick-or-treat hours have been set for the county. Again, the time of trick-or-treating to Tonight for kids is from 6 to 8 p.m. Wayne County High School is hosting a trunk or treat event at J.C. Stadium tomorrow night before the football game against Ware County. And that event will be held from 5 to 7 p.m. for kids 10 and under. And kids in a costume, if they want to enter the football game, can enter the football game free with a paying adult. School clubs, churches, businesses, community groups will all be on hand tomorrow night set up to hand out candy and local goodies. Again, trunk or treat tomorrow night at J.C. Stadium between 5 and 7 p.m. Another Halloween event taking place tonight in Scriven, Georgia, between 6 and 8 p.m. on Bill Royal Street. It's the second annual Scriven Community Trunk or Treat, and they ask that you come join a night of family fun. There will be a decorating contest with amazing prizes, and that's all taking place tonight in Scriven, Georgia, on Bill Royal Street between 6 and 8 p.m. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor, the Commercial Messages, so please stay tuned. Final notes and news, everyone's invited this Saturday afternoon to J.C. Stadium to watch some amazing band performances as this Saturday Wayne County High School Band will host the High School Band Deep South Marching Band Competition. The date, once again, Saturday at J.C. Stadium. Gates opening at 1245. Tickets are $10 each and children 500 will be admitted free. The band will be selling concessions all day at the stadium. It's a fundraising event for the Wayne County High School Band Program. High School Band will perform that evening after all the other bands perform, again, the community invited to come out and watch the bands from Georgia, South Carolina, and Florida, all in Jessup at J.C. Stadium this Saturday, November 2nd. Once again, the gates will open Saturday at 12.45 p.m. Wayne County Commissioners set to meet Monday evening, 6 p.m. at the County Commissioners Meeting Room. On the agenda in their old business, Director Lamar Eccles talk about considering approved update on pickleball courts under new business. A lot of appointments on the agenda, again, the Coastal Area District Development Authority has several appointments. The IDA has several appointments. All that on the agenda along with items with the county administrator, items with the county clerk, items with the commissioners. All that served for Monday at 6 p.m. at the county commissioner's meeting room. And finally, the city of Jessup getting ready for this year's Christmas parade. Scheduled for Friday, December the 6th in downtown Jessup. They're taking entries into this year's parade at this time. And the theme of this year's parade is Dreaming of a Downtown Christmas. If you'd like to make an entry, you can simply contact the Wayne County Chamber of Commerce. Give them a call. I'm sorry, the city of Jessup, give them a call at 912-427-1313. Again, the city of Jessup having the Christmas parade this year on Friday, December 6th. And Christmas time is coming. City of Jessup Christmas parade Friday night, December 6th in downtown Jessup. Again, the theme once again, dreaming of a downtown Christmas. And that's going to do it for the latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan's have a great day.